you're watching The Project. Welcome back. Last week I travelled to Christchurch and sat down with Jacinda Ardern to find out how she and her country have been coping through New Zealand's darkest days. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Thanks so much for doing this. Do you mind this. if I give yeah. you a hug? Not at all. <laughs> I know that might seem strange, but I, I saw your piece on the project and it was incredible. Yeah, so, no, that's very good. Yeah, no, it yeah. really was. All right. Salaam alaikum. Um, Salaam alaikum. Welcome to the project. Shukram. I know you don't want to answer this question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Are you going to ask me how I am? Yeah, and, and I don't want you to give me a political answer. I want you to... Will you permit yourself to answer it honestly and candidly? I'd, I'd like to think that um, actually when I've been asked, I, I've always answered honestly and candidly. I've actually just avoided the question because the, the answer is I'm deeply sad. Yeah, yeah. But, I, you know, there are moments where you know, there, there aren't cameras and where I've just been with families and it's fair to say that those are um, very emotional moments. Yeah. Do you, have you had time to be with your family to Not much. work through that sort of stuff? Not much. Um, but, uh, you know, actually, at the moment, my time with them probably wouldn't be quality because I no. feel um, such a draw to be focused on doing what's needed for... Um, those who have lost loved ones, uh, too much else feels a bit selfish right now. Mm. M my family have come to me, um, you know, we're a very family friendly environment and so my family have come and visited me in, in the Beehive when they can and um, uh, I have my, my parents helping at the moment with, with Neve as well, so I, I'm, the last, I'm the last one that anyone should be worrying about. I appreciate that, I appreciate that, but I'm going to worry. You think you <laughs> um, You're not just the Prime Minister of New Zealand, you've yes. recently become a mum. There's all yes. kinds of things yes. going on. How, how has that affected how you relate to this attack, do you think? Almost certainly. I mean, I think it's probably hard to sometimes analyse the way that you are changed by parenthood, but you feel it, I think, uh, in your responses and your empathy. Um, and certainly when I've visited with families, you know, when I've seen that husbands, wives, um, in, in hospital and the grief that's surrounding that and the fear. Uh, yeah, I feel that deeply, but I've, I've, always, I've always been a person inclined to feel things quite deeply. Yeah. Mm. Um, I think there's more or less worldwide consensus that not just you, but New Zealand have handled this mm. exceptionally well. Do you think there's something particular that allows New Zealand to be able to respond that way when other countries, particularly you know, bigger countries, the United States, mm. the UK, struggle more with that? I feel like what the world is seeing is just who we are. You know, we're a nation of over 200 ethnicities, 160 languages. We see ourselves as peaceful and inclusive. The act has been so counter to that. But the response, you know, the flood of flowers outside of mosques, the spontaneous song where people have gathered, uh, the real desire to give a sense of safety and security for people to return to worship, that's New Zealand. Yeah. You made a decision to wear a black hijab um, when you were meeting with the community, so it's been a very iconic image. Mm, mm. Can you talk me through that decision, how you made it? I gave it very little thought. It was so um, obvious to me that that would be the appropriate thing to do. What I underestimated was uh, that it gave people a sense of security. It didn't occur to me for a moment that there would be those uh, women in the community who felt unsafe wearing their, so obviously their faith. Mm. Uh, and so if and wearing um, the hijab as I did, uh, gave them a sense of security to continue to practice their faith, then, then I'm very, I'm very pleased I did it. Uh, my job is to make people feel safe. The idea that people currently do not, I find deeply distressing. And it's my job to try and bring that sense of security back. We were not chosen for this act of violence because we condone racism, because we are an enclave for extremism. We were chosen for the very fact that we are none of these things. You said that it's the opposite of New Zealand. Yes. Is it? as simple as that or no, is it also that no, it's there not. are bits of New Zealand it's that a, have yeah. emerged? It's not as simple as that. Um, that is by far the vast majority of New Zealanders and that is, those are new, the, the values of tolerance and inclusion and peace, those are New Zealand values. 
That is not to say that there are not pockets of ideology that are counter to our values and which we as a nation utterly reject. But we would be naive if we thought we were the only country in the world that didn't have pockets of that. We do. Uh, and what you will hear, I think, is even greater resolve to confront that. Yeah. Do you think it's been underestimated just across New Zealand society? It's there, you know, and whether or not we've um, spoken as openly about it as we should have, you know, that is a, that's a legitimate question. You'll hear New Zealanders reflect the fact that what happened here was not, uh, was not an act by a New Zealand citizen, but that does not mean that there are not things that we need to address here, we do. And that's the, that's the, that's the bigger project. On the perpetrator, yes. um, being an Australian, what, what did you think when you discovered that? You know, uh, that, that was news that did take, a, it did take some time for me to process that. But again, uh, uh, I think that New Zealanders are reflecting on the fact that it was, that it was not one of us because in part that helps them process what has happened here. Um, but it, they do not point it out in an attempt to blame. That is, that is not the reason that it's raised. Do you think this is a genuine turning point? Like it, it's an unusual attack yeah. for a lot of the public because it takes a community that's been framed as perpetrators and turns them into victims. We have to acknowledge that that kind of targeting has happened before. Yep. This is not a world first. And so that is why our language is very deliberate. This was a terrorist attack. This was a targeted attack against uh, uh, the Muslim community of New Zealand. And as you have um, said, uh, it was targeted at a time where they were in a state of reflective, peaceful worship. And that is hugely confronting. But we will keep being deliberate in our language because the Muslim community here themselves have called this out as an act of violent extremism and we as a nation reject violent extremism in all its forms. Do you have a message? Like, I think there's a lot of support, there's a lot of sympathy in Australia. Um, you would have seen the Opera House. Yes, the I did. Jewels. Yes. Do you have something you'd like to say back to Australia? To Australia, I just say um, thank you. You know, thank you for the solidarity and the support and uh, we're family. We are absolutely family and so we've felt that support acutely. Um, and the message I've been sharing with every global leader is our job is to share love and support for our Muslim communities around the world. Good job. What was that memorial there like? Oh, the memorial in Christchurch. Oh, it's, yeah, I've never seen anything quite like that. Before that was that really deeply affected me. I just went there on the way back to the airport after speaking to her, and um, yeah, that's almost life changing. I'll remember that really, really deeply. C yeah. Do you know why it, it affected you so deeply? Um, the problem is he's holding a sign that says 30 seconds. Um, I can't answer it in that amount of time. <laughs> um, that'll be tomorrow's show. We'll clear out the hour. Okay. And I will, uh... Fair enough. <laughs> Look forward to it. That is all we have for tonight's show. Thanks for joining us.